This is Pastor Jeff, and this is our daily lectionary readings. We're in Holy Week, and this is Holy Saturday, year A, April 8th, 2023. We have a couple different options um, for the readings, and I'll let you know which one we are going to be doing when we get to those sections. Once again, we've been in Holy Week the whole week, so we have our four readings just like we do at church. Our first reading today, we could choose Job or Lamentation, and I'm going to lead into the Lamentation. So it'll be Lamentation, chapter 3, verses 1 through 9, 19 through 24. I am the one who has been and seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. He has driven and brought me into the darkness without any light. Against me alone, he turns his hand again and again all day long. He has made my flesh and my skin waste away and broken my bones. He has besieged and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me sit in the darkness like the dead of long ago. He has walked me about so I cannot escape. He has put heavy chains on me, though I call and cry out for help. He shuts out my prayer. He has blocked my ways with hewn stones. He has made my paths crooked. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down with me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Our psalm reading today comes from Psalm 31, verses 1 through 4 and 15 through 16. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame in your righteousness. Deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemy and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant and save me in your steadfast love. Our second reading today comes from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verses 1 through 8. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourself also with the same intention. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin so as to live for the rest of your earthly life, no longer by human desire, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in passion, drunkenness, revels, carousing, and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excess, and so they blaspheme me. But they will have to give an accounting to who stand ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was proclaimed even to the dead, so that though they had been judged in the flesh as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourself for the sake of your prayer. Above all, Maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Our gospel reading, we have the opportunity to read from Matthew or John. I'm going to choose to read Matthew because it will help us set up for what we're going to be hearing at church on Sunday. Matthew 27, 57 through 66. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. 
Joe Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite of the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what that impostor said while he was still alive. After three days I will rise again. Therefore command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people he has been raised from the dead. And the last deception would be worse than the first. And Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. And here ends our readings for the day.